What I have in front of me are two ways that you can hold your phone a bit more securely. These are really recognizable, but as you can see from the title, I have three different ways that I'm going to show you how to hold your smartphone. Now, the two that are on the table right now are pretty recognizable. These are ones that you probably have seen all over the place, uh, and we're gonna go through them and I'm gonna tell you some benefits to them. This first one is very recognizable. You probably have seen so many people rocking one of these. This is a Ring phone grip. This one in particular is made by Ring Key, uh, and they have all of these really lovely little designs on there. This one's obviously like the Galaxy astronaut, whatnot, uh, but there's a ton of them. In this case, it's kind of a simplistic design. You just have this ring that has a lot of resistance to it. As you can see, I have to actually push and pull on it quite a bit. And uh, the benefit to this is that when you have it in a certain position, you can actually stand up the phone. That way you have uh, easier viewing angles and you can watch things like movies on your smartphone. But when it comes to holding your phone, obviously the simple design of this is that you have the ring available. You pass a finger through the ring and it secures it to your hand a little bit better so that even if you're doing something like lying down on your bed, it won't fall down and hit you in the face. I know we've all been there before. Now, the position can be customized, but the adhesive on here is pretty strong. So Rinky makes a bunch of these. There's a lot of really fun designs. And if you need to, you can always remove it and place it back on your device. Uh, but one thing you'll notice with all of the products that I'm showing in this video is that each one is on a phone case. Now, the reason why is because the adhesive can be pretty strong and they're all made to not damage uh, or to leave residue on the actual smartphone. Uh, but just to be safe, it's probably a good idea to leave it on a case. There's a bunch of these, like I said, and this is probably one of the most recognizable ways uh, to hold your device more securely. But to be honest, this is also one of my least favorite. If you have followed me, in my career here on YouTube, tech YouTube, tech blogging, what have you, you know that I'm a big fan of this right here. This is the ever popular and oh so common pop socket. The pop socket has a very simple design. A 3M adhesive is applied to one side of it so that it sticks to, in this case, a clear phone case for the Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus. And that way you can just pop out like an accordion the portion that you pass through your hand and it gives you an easier way of gripping your phone. This is one of the most recognizable products on Amazon, pretty much any phone store, maybe even just any general store. You might've seen a bunch of these and there are a billion different designs for them. You can even customize your own over at popsocket.com uh, and there are so many different copycats, but I have been a fan of PopSocket ever since I first discovered them on the internet, use them on many different devices and sometimes I can't use a phone without something like this to secure it in my hands. After all, phones like the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 are quite big, so having something like this makes it a lot easier for you to reach not only the side to side, but you can also just pinch and easily reach the top so that you can see your notifications without having to use both hands. Uh, so this is a very easy way of making a large smartphone a little bit more accessible. It also has the benefit of being reapplied anywhere on the particular smartphone, doesn't take up too much uh, uh, real estate on the back of the device, and when it is out like this, you can have it standing like so, just like with the ring. Now, to give you the reason why I like to have these on phone cases, it's because a lot of smartphones these days generally have wireless charging. And when you have something like this literally getting in the way between the charging area on the phone and the charging area on the pad, well, you're gonna lose wireless charging. Uh, but yes, put it on a case, take off the case, and then when you need wireless charging, you just throw it on your wireless charging pad, and there's nothing getting in the way between the phone and the pad itself. The pop socket between these two is still my favorite. But as you can see from the, just the design of these two products, they are a little bit limited in their scope. You can hold your phone easier, you can stand up the phone for better viewing angles, but that's about it. Enter this, the Moft X. Now this is a product that I can really get behind. I love my pop sockets, but ever since I started using the Moft X, uh, I can see some real benefits to this kind of design and it gets a lot of the same tenants right. You'll notice that even if the iPhone 11 Pro that I have this on is pretty small and it's really easy to actually use, uh, I still want to have the Moft X on here. This is a brand new product. By the way, the guys over at Moft did provide this and a tablet version of the Moft X. Uh, they're also the makers of that laptop stand that you might have seen making the Instagram rounds or just all over Amazon. Uh, these are now available uh, and I'm happy to show them off here because I've been using these ever since I first got them and you, a lot of you in the comment sections have actually actually been um, requesting, or rather asking, what has been on the back of my Pixel 4 XL every time you see it. What I have here is this flat 
mat right here that has an adhesive underneath that can be reappliable. Uh, so I've already reapplied this to, I think three different phones. This is the third one. And it has had the same good sticky quality ever since. It's still very secure. Uh, it's not so big that it gets in the way of the cameras. Uh, so any phone smaller than the iPhone 11 Pro might have a bit of a problem with this, but this is about where the sweet spot is. Of course, for larger phones like the Note 10 Plus, it's gonna be even better. So there's this flat design here, which is actually really beneficial because one of the only complaints people seem to have with the pop socket is that when you have it in, let's say a pair of tight jeans, uh, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> it makes it seem like you're carrying around like a large silver dollar or other stuff. And then this one portion at the top here just folds down and there are magnets here that make it so that it becomes a stand an easy stand even, that is actually really awesome for just doing productivity stuff in this viewing angle, or you can make it sideways like this for viewing angles on movies and media. I mean, you've been seeing already that I tend to have a phone right here when I'm doing my videos because I'm kind of checking either my script or just doing some really quick research on something that I'm talking about in the moment. I can't believe I actually have to do this hand gesture to make this focus, but you know what? It worked, so okay, fine. I'm not gonna make fun of it anymore. Anyway, we have these cards here and uh, it can slot in very easily to this portion of the Moft X. Uh, Moft says that three cards can fit inside of this product, uh, but honestly, just fit in as many as you can without it bulging out too much and not getting in the way of the stand portion of the product. So you can hold a few cards. It's also a very effective stand, but when you have this particular portion out like this, it also serves as a way to hold your device. Uh, again, even though this is a smaller phone, this still makes the phone a little bit, just that little bit more comfortable to handle on the regular. It's not as clean looking as the pop socket or even the ring, but it still gets the job done. And clearly there's a benefit to having it being shaped like this, as we've talked about before. So like I said before, the Moft X is available right now. It's links are in the description again down below and you can check it out for yourself. A quick thank you to Moft for providing these products and also I apologize for taking so long to actually talk about this, but it's been featured in so much of my social media and in my YouTube videos. I finally got around to talking about it, but in any case, this is three different ways that you can not only hold your smartphone better, but also stand it up. Three very effective ways to do so. All are very affordable products and you can find their prices in those links down below. Also, these are all fairly customizable. Probably the pop socket is the one that is the most customizable, which is one of the reasons why I really enjoy it. Uh, but you can give it to somebody and even though it's not going to cost you a whole lot, it's probably going to benefit them a lot, especially if they have a larger smartphone. But in any case, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just gonna set these up right here just so we can have a nice little shot of all of them standing up on their own. But in any case, like I said, I'm gonna call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Check out all of the products in the description down below. Uh, these are all wonderful ways of standing up your smartphone. This one is a little bit more effective at doing it in this orientation. But in any case, let me know what you think about all of these. Did you order a Moft X? Uh, tell me if you uh, are going to receive it soon, if you're excited to check it out. Uh, it's a very simple device, but it's a very effective one. So stay tuned for even more uh, from this channel. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of gifts that you could be giving people over the holidays and this was just sort of the start of that series uh, but yeah look forward to all of that subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that bell so you know when all those videos come out drop some likes on this one and get into the comment sections like I always say and from there I'm just gonna remind you to enjoy your tea everybody